Williams yet again. Yeah. Wait a minute! Here comes the white beater! White beater! That's my boy, right there. Yeah. Choking ball! What is he doing here? He's here to clean house. He is the disease. This is not fair. Messiah has a world title matchup tonight against John Sandy with deathmatch rules in effect. He stuck his nose in a business where he shouldn't be. Keep your Look at, look at, look at White Beater and Messiah. They're looking at a barroom fight right now. I can't believe this is totally unfair for Messiah. He's been waiting months to get John Zandig one-on-one in the ring for the world heavyweight title, but he gets ambushed by White Beater. And a flash outside of the ring for first night bench chop. Oh, come on. What a bunch of punks. Adam Flash with the side. There it is again. Can't take anybody on one-on-one. -on -one. He is a very unholy man. I mean, man. guys, I mean, let's face it. White Peter put his nose in the wrong people's business. You're right. You know what? I'm, I'm in the score. I'm about tired of both of y'all. We'll yeah. leave. You know what? Thank you. Get this Thank you very much, Don't forget some levity and credibility. I'll bust his other arm. He ever stood right. right. You're a bust, Dr. Can't play you with me. Oh, White Peter now clobbering away on the Messiah now on the outside trying to soften him up. Why do you have to stay with these guys sitting here? Can't you leave? For John Zayn, dude, I can't believe this. Messiah sent it to the guardrail. White Peter, snap suplex on the floor. Uh-oh. And here he comes. He's Here running comes the boss. He's doing cardio. He's running. Here comes the boss. You know, Messiah wants to come out here and play these games. You can only dance with the devil for so long, John, without losing your soul. Oh, Zandy now hurled the Messiah into the third row. I think we got a death match on our hands, John. White Peter beating the hell out of Adam Flash back to the back. We'll see each other again in Italy. I don't think you're allowed in that country yet, are you? Eric, don't talk my personal business on live TV. Oh, Sandy. Sandy just slamming the Messiah down across the steel. You wanted your title match, you son of a bitch. You got it. A, a tie paid that match. Oh, no, they, 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 they get it. one stipulation, Eric. And I think Zandy's calling for it to be a tie paid that match. A tie paid that match. With the Messiah, but I remember one thing. Messiah, look at him clubbing away with John Zandig, the champion. John, you know what a tie base that match is? You crazy glue. You glue broken glass to your fist. And now I like, look, dude, dude, there's boards in the ring with three-inch nails sticking out of it. And that must be Messiah's stipulation. Zandig and Messiah now battling it on the outside. Through the fans. Through the fans, are, they're just beating each other. Messiah must have picked the board. Zandig must have picked the Taipei death match. Messiah now throws Zandig right into that steel guard rail. Zandig looks like he's holding his knee, Eric. Like he banged his knee against the steel. They're coming this way, John. I hope Zandig gets his hands on you. You know that? He don't get his hands on me. You, can, you don't want to get the dog ass with the ball. Not me, Eric. Don't push it on me. Because right now the Messiah is administering a beatdown on John Zandy. This is a long time in the making, John. October the 25th was the last time these two went one-on-one. -on -one. Remember what that guy Messiah did to John Zandy last year? He made his life a living hell. He suspended him from the building with his own flesh. With those shark hooks, Eric. How can I forget it? I mean, it's not a shark. How can I forget fall. it? And since the October dead, that 25th, John Zandig's been ducking the Messiah and giving him a return bout for the world heavyweight title. He has a family. He has a wife and child to go home That's to. his problem. Messiah now wrapping the steel right around the head of the world heavyweight champion, John Zandig. I'll tell you something about this Messiah. That's one guy out there I don't ever want to see cloned. Messiah now working over Zandig. On the outside of the ring now. Oh, wait a minute. They're coming back down the entrance. I mean, let's talk about the collapse in 2003 of the high five of Messiah. I mean, I haven't seen a collapse like that in well, Eric, since WCW, John. They were regrouping. They were regrouping. I don't think it was that bad anyway because the Messiah had a flash and Dewey Donovan got a plan and they're putting a plan in effect tonight and that is all business. I, if 
it's hard to see from our vantage point, John. And I'm under the impression that the glass is already on their wrist. And look at, look at, look at Messiah taunting John Zandig, punishing the champion. And Messiah told me he didn't want no death matches with John Zandig. He said he's too pretty for that. How arrogant. Messiah is a master at the death matches. Eric. He's been a death match champion before. All right, he's taken it to our world heavyweight champion. And John Zandig, Eric, has been busted wide open here in overdrive. It's not over yet, John. It's not about getting knocked down. It's about getting, getting back up. And John Zandig has got up more times than anybody I've ever had the opportunity to announce Shut in a up. professional wrestling ring. John Zandig right now is going to beat down from the hands of the challenger, the Messiah, man who he's made wait months, Eric, about five, six months to get a title shot. Messiah now on his knees, just staring at, Dan, at, at Zandig, staring at him with that cold stare, that evil stare. He's, he's still cold-hearted, John. He's, he's still evil. Messiah is a dangerous man. Boy, he's a violent man. He's taking a break to John. He ain't scared. He's of John scared. Zandig. He fears John Zandig. Messiah told me himself that John Zandig is a punk. Well, I'll tell you what, John Zandig's told me a lot of things about Messiah. Unfortunately, I can't repeat them on fake QT. Oh, he shoots him into that corner, follows him with a big forearm smash. And Messiah right now is just so deliberate in his attack right now of John Zandig. Messiah, all he's been doing with Zandig is playing games, John. You've been playing games since day one. You want to play games, jump in a sandbox. We're on the way now, low. Who's going to send him in? Zandig reversed it. Into the, team, into the board, John. Ran right into those nails. Going into the body, into the flesh, piercing the flesh of the former world heavyweight champion. The former two-time world heavyweight champion. Zandig right now, bloody mess on He's been the champion. Is he a little bit rusty? I mean, he hasn't he hasn't defended that title since he's won it. Does he look rusty to you? Does he look rusty to you? I don't think so. Ow! Oh! How's I mean, that for ring? Ow! Oh! Driving those nails right into the back of the challenger, the Messiah. How's that, John, for your ring rust? I mean, Eric, you have to think John Zantig has forced the Messiah to play his game a death match. John Zantig multiple times a death match champion, and he's taking it to the Messiah. I mean, right now, John, he looks like a pit bull that's just locked his jaws around the neck of a seven-year-old. I hate to use that analogy, but that's how I see it right now. Messiah right now is down. John Zantig likes that pull with that. Oh! He busted those nails right over his head. Right into his body, right into his head, making him think about every minute of it, every second of it, every ounce of pain. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg. He kicked out on one. It's out. all about 2003, John. It's personal. And, and the Messiah has waited too long for this return matchup to go down so early on in this matchup. He's hungry for that world title. He feels like he's never lost that world title. I don't think Stephen King can write a story this scary for Messiah. He follows him in there with a big right hand. Enter his back, hit those nails in that corner. I'll tell you what, John, I haven't seen Zandig kick anybody's ass like this since Ian Rod was in this building. Zandig is raking that, he raked that broken glass over the head of the Messiah in that corner. Cage of Death 5 was not enough for John Zandig, and obviously not for Messiah. But you gotta wonder, John, is this all part of a plan? Does Messiah have something up his sleeve? Oh, Zandig's arrow. That's it. No. Messiah has said as of late we are going to see a darker side of him. He claims to have sold his soul for this matchup, John. What exactly does he mean? Messiah is an evil man, Eric, and he has a plan. And like I told you before, I can't tell you because if I do, I had to kill you. You think he's evil? John Zanding is one of the most evil men you, want to, you ever want to cross in this business. Just ask anybody that's crossed him, John. Oh, he ducked that clothesline. Oh, he's gonna muscle him over. Exploder! Oh! Right into those nails. And John Sanding is immobile right now, John. John he's Sanding. on that board like a moth to a flame. John Sanding down on that canvas. He's in a lot of pain. The challenge of the Messiah. He's down on that canvas. But he has to reach down deep if he wants to once again become the CCW World Heavyweight Champion. Rolling over Zandy, goes for the cover, hooks the leg, we got two! Two and a half, two and a half. 
And I mean, at this point in time, John, you have to be absolutely humbled watching these two athletes absorb this kind of punishment for one option, for one prize, the CZW World Heavyweight Championship. How important is that title? Just ask those two. Look what they're putting themselves through, Eric. Uh-oh. K. Brada. Textbook K. Brada there, Eric. Right on the John Z&D. And John Looks for Messiah. It's not about the world championship as much as it's about the power, holding the power over John Zanding in combat sword wrestling. He has not held that power in quite a few months. Uh oh, another one! Driving those nails right into the flesh of John Zanding. And John Zanding right now immobile is absorbing a lot of punishment. But the amount of punishment that he can absorb is just inhumane, John. I, I got to give it to him, Eric. John Zanthing's been through so much, Eric. He's been put through fire, set on fire, wrapped in barbed wire, hung from the roof of the CZW arena by those hooks, those shark hooks. It was embarrassing and it was humiliating for him. In front of his fans, in front of his friends, in front of his family, in front of his employees, they did that. That's that's that was great. That's, that's a scumbag. That's a moment right there, a CZW moment when he was You better watch it. He told me you might be the next guy to get fired what? right here. He can't fire me. And the Messiah just spikes in and pulls those nails with that DDT in the corner. And I'm telling you something. I talked to the Messiah, Eric. He told me that from now on it's no more fun and games. It's not all about the parties. He it's about handling the business. He told me that too. He told me that too. You know, we usually see members of the high five like Messiah and Adam Flash. They come out here, they're laughing, they're joking around, they're goofing around, making their little motion. They're, like, ah. they're all making those stupid noises out of here. But I'll tell you what, John, we have seen a serious side to these two idiots over the last 48 hours. Messiah now setting up that table on the outside, trying to make some room. Pushing away those guardrails. John Zanting is a bloody mess in that ring. He doesn't look like a champion right now. He looks like a beaten man. A beaten, black, bloody, battered man. They've lost their money. They've lost their power. They've lost their allies. They're jumping off the ship. Bridges are being burnt. I mean, these guys are having a hell of a, hell of a 2004, John. Right now, Messiah in back, back in that ring starts punching away. Right on that exposed forehead, that blood gushing out of John Zandig now. Staggering back to champion. You're going to need more than some right hand. Wait a minute. Zandig hanging on. John Zandig right now immobile. Maybe he's absorbed too much. Uh oh. Maybe. Wait a clothesline. John, maybe Zandig was preoccupied with you know who earlier tonight and just couldn't even think straight. Well, he just hit Messiah with that clothesline out of nowhere. Knocking the challenger down. And Messiah is still down. From that big clothesline is Zandig. Call it for it, Eric. The mother effing bomb. And John, he has mother effing bomb. Some of the best in this business. And they've been unable to get uh -oh. off. What makes you think Messiah has a chance? Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. Messiah reverse and lands on his feet. Drop kick to the back of John Zandig's head. Zandig goes over, but he's hanging over on the top rope on, on, that, on that apron. Is he hanging on to the rope right now, John, or is he hanging on for dear life? I think he's hanging on for dear life, Eric. I thought you'd say that. At this that. point, this match could go anyway. At this point, Messiah is taking it to the World Heavyweight Champion. Is there anything out of the back for that suplex? No, not enough. Messiah by the challenger. Messiah with a kick to the midsection. Messiah hits the ropes. Messiah. Third set flip. You gotta be kidding me. He caught him, but he blasted him through that table on the concrete floor. It was hard to see from our vantage point, but it looked like he went from a tope into a sunset flip. Into that table. John, Whoa, what, won't this, what won't he do to beat John Zandig? And I'll be honest with you, Eric. The longer John Zandig made the Messiah wait, the more war on his mind. The more he got to think about it. The more evil and psychotic and sadistic that the Messiah's gotten. He feels like he was robbed of the world heavyweight title. John Zandig has been a coward over the last several months here at CZW by not giving the, the Messiah his death matches. Oh, here goes for a cover. He's not a coward. We got a one. We got a two. We got a two count. Two and three. It's about my game. It's about my games. We got a two or three quarters Wait, on the He's outside. back! Get it! Come on! Security! Security! You're a fucking idiot! Is he get? Come now, Messiah! He has no friends! Teddy Hart now made his way back into, into the CZW arena. I don't think security is aware he is here. 
And, and Eric, this is for the World Heavyweight title. Another fine job by our security staff here. Get him out of here. What is Teddy Hart doing here? I know he has issues with John Zanding. He but, came, but a lot of people do. He came through the front door, John. I'll he, tell you right now, if Teddy Hart calls to the side of this matchup, oh, he'd have hell to pay. Uh-oh. Is that power bomb? If Teddy Hart calls John Zanding this matchup, he's going to have hell to pay. Wait a minute. You oh. gotta be kidding me! You son of a bitch! This will drop kick there on John Zayden. No, this is death match, Eric. There is no disqualification. Come on, Teddy! He had a way. Open heart surgery! No! Two! No. Three! No. Yes! Yes! That's it, John. Was, was Messiah hit on this from the beginning? He said he had to sell his soul. What the hell happened tonight? We got a new World Heavyweight Champion here at CZW's Overdrive. And we got a big, big problem, John. And what a disgrace. I'm sorry, boss. I just want to say right now, I am what sorry. What a disgrace. Shut up, Gorgio. You're going to get your I chance. I so, so sorry. I am not responsible for this, John. Yes, you, you are. Know I'm not responsible You brought him here. You have my back. You did it. You have my back. I got your back. Let me talk you to the boss back. first. I'll fix it for you. I have you. my back. I promise. I thought he'd be good for the company, John. Once again, we have a, a world champion that we can all be proud of in the Messiah. I thought he'd be good for the company. Well, look at Zandig. Look at the look on his face. He's ready for another fight, John. It's on! It's on! Sandy like, like an animal hops on top of Teddy Hart. Teddy Hart says one punch, it'll do it. Uh -oh. He says he can take him out with one punch. John Zandig with a spinny close on Teddy Hart. Keep on a press. Oh, no effect. John Zandig just muscled him, Eric. Manhandled Teddy Hart. You know Teddy Hart wants no part of the barbed wire boards with the nails or anything. Anything that John Zandig is... Right on those nails. This is personal, John. This is personal. I think he's gonna cry. Teddy Hart better get out of there. John Zanting's lob. He might kill him, Eric. I think he's gonna cry. John Zanting's hated some superstars down the road here at CZW, but I don't know if he's gonna grow to hate Teddy Hart more than out of all of them. He's gonna hate him more than all of them. I am so sorry. I he hate him, Eric. I am so sorry. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tell him, Zanding, you ain't got to take it, Zanding. You're the boss of this company. Take charge. Lay down the law. Like it is. Uh oh. Uh, he's calling him an embarrassment. I think Teddy Hart's going to like that very much. Look at Teddy Hart's body. I've never I seen Teddy Hart's ever blood in his life. This is his crowd. John, 
we're about to see a fight. We're not going to see a wrestling match. We're going to see a fight. Teddy Hart doesn't back down from anyone, Eric. Even if he gets his butt whipped, he don't back down. How is he going to react, John? Teddy Hart is his own entity, Eric. Uh-oh. He's mad now, Eric. throws that steel chair in the ring. I wouldn't throw it in there if John Zandig was standing there throwing a steel chair in the ring. Eric, what's up with this? Dude, I, I don't know, man. I, yo, I, 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 I don't know, man. Dude, we don't, we don't normally have shit like this up here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. I don't know. Oh, no, looks like Jan Zanthi wants to kill Teddy Hart at this point, Eric. He means it. He told him flat out. Challenge. I just want to. I just want to get the hell out of here. I, 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 
You don't even know the riot. Teddy Hart will only be told what to do. Just leave, dude. Just leave, man. Just leave, dude, you know? Prick, man. I don't know what's going on here. He doesn't want to leave. Uh oh, is the doors open? Is he going back to our locker room? I don't know what's going on. I don't think that's the right move. I gotta get back there, man, because I'm sure those boys are having a good time with him back there. They're gonna. They're gonna lynch him back there. He's not in a good mood, Gargiulo! 